There's a question I struggle to come up with an answer to, and it's a question that we often get asked as kids. For some it can take years to come up with an answer, others decades. And the question is, what do I want to be when I grow up? So earlier this year, I spent time trying to work out what it is I want to do. And while I enjoy my work, it's just, it's not enough for me. I want more fulfillment. And it was while I was researching and, and thinking, I saw a couple of documentaries of people who did first. So, and that just triggered something in me. It's like, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to do a first. So I started researching and looking at options, and that's where the idea came from, that I want to be the first woman to pedal the Nile. Sports always been a huge part of my life. Mum got me trying a lot of sports when I was a kid. I think she was secretly hoping I'd be some kind of superstar at one of them and be her early retirement fund. Um, certainly that wasn't the case, but it's just meant I've gone on to try heaps of sports and, and, and that's why it's become such a huge part of my life. Kayaking was a sport I got into a few years after I moved to Australia and I joined North Bondi Surf Club as a surf lifesaver. And that's where I got into to kayaking, first in the surf skis and then going out into the ocean kayaking. And I, I love it, you know, there's certainly nothing else that would get me out of bed at 4.15 in the morning in the middle of winter to go and train. It's not just about the training, competing is a huge part of it for me. So some of my standouts include going to San Francisco to take part in the US Surf Ski Championships. And then locally one of my biggest achievements would be completing Coolangatta Gold's long course, which is Surf Life Savings iconic endurance Ironman event. It's what I do, it's what I love. You know, being out on the water, watching the sun come up. I've had dolphins swimming with me. I've watched whales breaching. It's just amazing and now this challenge is going to take me and my paddling to a whole new level. See, so this is probably the biggest town outside of Kampala, which is the capital of Uganda. Um, total population of Uganda is around about 40 million, with a high, high majority, certainly over 80% uh, living in rural areas. It's, it's seen as being one of the poorest countries in, in Africa, uh, with something like around 40% of the population living on, on less than a, a dollar twenty-five a day. Uh, one of the big problems they have here is, is certainly gender uh, inequality, which is, which is a real hindrance to moving women out of, out of poverty. And you know, with the trip that I'm looking to do, you know, it's not just about me traveling, getting down the, the Nile, it's, it's also about raising money for organizations that, that help women. With the Nile being the longest river in the world, this is going to be incredibly hard and, and ridiculously challenging and, and full of dangers on the way. But I'm not going to be doing this alone. There's my core team helping me plan and organise this. I'll have people paddling with me all the way and that's going to be a mix of friends, teammates and local paddlers from all the countries I'm going through. Plus there'll be the sponsors and then there's the community I want to build of people going out and doing their firsts. They don't have to be as big and crazy as this, but something that's got meaning to them and where we encourage each other to go out and be brave and be bold and to do something that they've always wanted to do. Basically, I want as many people as possible to be part of this journey. 
So come join me.